I want to talk about the, the school bus more. Talk about the school bus more. Yeah. Kivon, what's the what's the craziest place you've gotten laid? <laughs> school bus. It's a perfect way to transition. No. Cut that out. No. All right, fine. Kivon, what's, what's the, the craziest place you've ever given lay? <laughs> <laughs> Give all, right, all right, all right, okay, all right, all right, fine. All right, all right. All right, cut that out, cut that out, cut, 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 all right, cut all right. that out. Come on, craziest yellow vehicle you've ever found yourself in. Shut up. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Cut that, cut it, cut it out. Kivan, how many fucking penises you sucked on? Yes I'm, or no? I'm gonna actually restart the counter <laughs> now. I'm restart the timer. All now. of that is nothing. All that's nothing. <laughs> Welcome back, Kivan. <laughs> Quick question for you. Quickie's quickie. Ben, I'm gonna rip your quick. eyebrow off. Now listen, you got two options here. You can either peel three oranges every day for the rest of your life, or you can never smell an Expo marker again. What's your choice? Play the game. No, I need to know Kivan's response. Peel three oranges or never smell an Expo marker? Three gonna, oranges every day. I'm gonna never smell an Expo marker. Kivan, but that's sweet, sweet high. <laughs> that sweet five second- Whoa. I'm just watching these small mammals kiss I wasn't on the a screen. I wasn't a freaking uh, fiend in elementary school. Right? You, were, you weren't an oh, expo fiend. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> you weren't no. pulling out those markers. <laughs> <sighs> I wasn't one of those kids that was like, dude, you can get high off of well, sniffing an expo. Wait a minute! Marker. Wait a minute! Wait, hold on. Do you think the jewel has replaced eating paste? No. In, in, in elementary no, school. No, because elementary school kids don't hit the jewel. I haven't oh, you sure? to that market yet. I. <laughs> Mr. Jewel. Elementary school. His Jonathan name. Q. Jewel. Christ. Stop. Stop. I you know what they say. He dropped out. No, it's Jonathan Q. Hugh Livingston. Two Jewel for school. Kivon, what's your best experience you've ever had on the school bus? On the Jewel bus? On the Jewel bus? <laughs> no. <laughs> God damn it. Now I want it. Now I want a bus to travel across the country just handing out free jewels to kids. That sounds very well, funny. Well, no, I do not want that to happen. Yeah, don't do that. You're giving nicotine to children. Uh, yeah, fuck the jewel. Our kids should be hitting the hookah. No! No, kill children! <laughs> no! No, kill children! No! No, don't! Oh, a cute moment inbound. Oh my god. Yeah. That is a cute one. Nice! Top yeah, 10 please, cute moments in gaming. Put up, please put an impending countdown for the cute moment. <laughs> Make it very serious. Oh, I'm 100% editing this. Oh, damn it. I want to. No, Why are you I, taking all the funny yeah, ones? I want this one. Stop talking about funny! Uh, God damn it. Um, I'm just imagining, like, no-kill children, just like Mr. Atomic Hookah Man is just running around. What the hell? About, to, the hell? about to blow his, blow his tube onto children. Mr. Kids, Atomic did you know? This is 1,000 cigarettes worth of lung damage. <laughs> and then, But like, it tastes like fucking strawberries. And then a, some freaking... Mr. Atomic... What is Mr. Atomic Hookah Man? What, <laughs> what is that? He's a, he's a supervillain that has a giant hookah... On his back, yeah, and he's just got like two hoses in either hand. Yes. What oh if it was God. like a like a giant cat beast, but its tail was like a hookah tube? Yes, he's got oh a he's got a. God. I want him to have a big long black beard. No, <laughs> I don't. It's funny. No, <laughs> it's a big long Take black that beard. Out. Take that beard out. Edit that beard out. <laughs> no, he has one. Edit that beard. Rick on that beard. He shaved it sometimes, but he mostly Stop. has it. <laughs> Why are you digging around? <laughs> Why are you Thank sticking you. your nose where it shouldn't be? Looking for secrets. <laughs> are you sticking your small little snoot in play in nooks and crannies where it shouldn't be? What if there's a big state conspiracy underneath this adorable game? And there's a reason why all the hamsters have gone missing. There's a reason why they all want to avoid boss. We're gonna have to put in cue the cue the unsettling and dramatic music. I swear to God, boss is actually running an underground circus. Ugh. Hear me out. All all these wacky one note characters are acts in the circus. They're very easy to market. Yeah. 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 Look at him. Ah! All right. He's got five o'clock shadow on a miner's hat. Where's the bearded ladies and where's the we haven't found dog faced them. boys? <laughs> all of them are dog faced boys. <laughs> no, they're hamster faced boys and girls. <laughs> all right, no, um, take off, take off your mat cap. <laughs> mat oh. cap. Uh, freak. 
Matt cap, yeah, it's not it's not even glossy. Take off your noggin and get the jogging. The freaking um <laughs> Oh that spinning thing means we, we got all the hamsters there. I wanted to say because I had another I have another experience of being bullied by a girl on the school bus. Hey, I wasn't bullied by a girl. She would just hit me and I would get hurt. You were bullied by a girl. The um I was I was also a little boy uh, in the past. Uh, and uh, Are you Oh dude me too! <laughs> Holy crap! Not me. And <laughs> this kid is baked. There was like an older. <clears throat> Look at him. He is. He is. Stick Watch a fork in him because he's done. This yeah. guy's got a secret. And there was an old. There was an older girl, like probably fifth grade or something. Mm -hmm. Much taller. Much taller and stronger than I was. Right. And uh, you'd freaking mess with me, like poke me and stuff, and it was very, very annoying. Right. And one time. Uh, when the freaking matrons that watched, like, the kids in the bus wasn't looking. Yeah. She crawled over the seat, and then uh... sat on me. Sat on my body. <laughs> crushing me. <laughs> oh, just the, the, the picture of, like, ele early elementary school kids climbing over the backs of seats is very, still very real in my mind. Yeah. Because that, that happened. One of the few bus memories I have is in sixth grade talking to uh, an albino kid I knew. And he was like, yo, anyone on this bus ever heard of Ray William Johnson? And I was like, yes! And everyone in the bus stood up and clapped. <laughs> <laughs> and they all started singing Doing Your Mom in unison. <laughs> and the bus driver was like, I can't, I can't. <laughs> and drove off the side of the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh. I have actually, I have another bus story that's not necessarily on the bus, but it's about the bus. Right. Hold on, wait, let me show you these guys' hidden secret first. Alright, yeah. Shocking truth is Please, please open. show us. It smells like, uh, canola oil. Oh. Oh. Ha! Yeah! What? What happened? He's using olive oil instead of suntan oil. <laughs> he ran out. Yeah. Hushko, reveal. Thank Finn, is that you. your secret for when you're doing lifeguard stuff? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, uh, our bus driver in eighth grade uh -huh. always used to be super late, just all the time. Right? Yeah, because he just wasn't a great bus driver. But that was like, you know, our our whole bus line was in on it. Like we all knew. So like, Can I just say before you continue? What I thought you were gonna say, because you just started with late, I thought you were saying he was super lit. Yeah, he was lit, fam. <laughs> I was oh. thinking like he was drunk. <laughs> Uh, oh, I have a, no. I have a drunk yeah, no, no, man. No, 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 that no. man did fucking eighties and forty fives. He was a fucking madman. Woo! Okay, continue your story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I have a but, story. Um, no, um, so basically, in the mornings when we'd wait to get to school, what we would do is there was a big bush right on the corner that we had to wait on. Uh huh. So we eventually just be like, "Wow, he's ten minutes late again today." So we would start throwing stuff in the bush to summon him. <laughs> uh huh. Jesus Christ! I don't know how this just like divide fucking, your time. Yeah, and um. We, at one point, we just threw, so we found, like, a brick, so we just right. threw a brick in the bush, and it made a big <laughs> hole and broke a bunch of the branches. Oh, my God. So then we started putting in, um, specific foods, and, uh, someone put in a waffle, and we showed up 30 seconds later. Holy so every couple crap. of days, someone would put a waffle in the hole, and it would work 90% of the time. <laughs> so we're like, oh, my God, we're summoning him with the waffle. <laughs> but, um, like, basically, well. this was before Hurricane Sandy, so like after Sandy XD. came, we went back to the bush, and it was dead, and all the garbage in the brick was still there. Oof. It's like I stuck on the branches. Oof. You gotta talk to this crying boy. Oh, Oxnard, just a, yeah. Just a giant pile of rotting waffles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. My, oh. No. Kojima, I keep forgetting. His name is Kojima. Oh. oh, you're not gonna talk to that wallman? Fine. Alright. Uh, I have a I have a drunk uh, caregiver story. Alright. Caregiver, uh, school-related caregiver. Uh, my, my, my teacher in, like, fifth grade uh -huh. would kick his feet up on the desk, and, uh, just, he would- Kick the children in the face. Yeah, he would, he would, uh, he was actually eight, I think of, like, eight and a half feet tall. He would, um, he would come into class, and he would pick us up by the, by the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Spin you around! <laughs> no, he'd grind up the chalk onto his desk, and he would, he would, he would- Place us face down, body down, chug, and whack us against the chalkboard. <laughs> Make little outlines of your face, little negative images. On yeah, the of, our entire, of our entire bodies. <laughs> <laughs> this, was a, this was an ogre, a giant. 
<laughs> yeah. no, this is true. He was he an old man. to your classroom, and he would always pick the first kid sitting in the top right, and he would slap him into the fucking window. He was eight and a half feet tall. Yeah, his feet were a foot across. I mean, his hands were a foot across, so when he slapped you across the face, you'd be flying. Yeah. You would, you would be flying before you felt the impact. Oh, man, okay, Noah, tell the actual story. No, that is the actual story. I'm 100% serious. <laughs> oh, 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 I breathe. Who's this, who's this character? I'm playing hide-and-seek. But I don't have any friends. Oh. Stop with describing my fucking life, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Give up! <laughs> oh, give up! Ooh. Thank God we just learned the word for give up. Oh, no. Oh, what would you do if you were stranded in the middle of uh, the Mojave Desert and you just... Oh. The only, oh, the only move you knew was give up. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't learn enough ham chats. Oh. Stranded in the Mojave Desert. Yeah. The only move you was give up. <laughs> Lay down in the sand, bury myself. Yeah, where would you? All right, top ten places to bury yourself. Uh, that would freaking suck. To if you were stuck, like that's actually that that's actually being scary. Like freaking go out into the desert. Uh, like in being like, hey, I'm gonna die. What do I do? <laughs> Like, uh, you know, you know you're not gonna survive this, you're just like, I just wanna die. Quickly. It's a hushy. Oh, I would definitely not wanna die in the desert, cause, yeah, like, you're most, uh, you thirst to death. They'd never find you. Either that or heat stroke. Yeah, both of which are pretty awful. Yeah. Yeah, but what if you just get shot in the desert? I mean, that's fine. I, I... That's I'd rather be shot somewhere One of the most sunny. ideal ways to dra to, to die in the desert. I, I used to say... Funniest way to die in the desert is drown. Absolutely. That is that is hilarious. If I died, if I if I if that's the way that I went out, that's fantastic. It's like collect a bunch of cactus juice, dig a hole, dump the juice in there, and then just lay face down in the hole until you drown. That would be very torturous. But no, if you like finally find, found an oasis and then like unbalance the, the acids in your stomach by drinking too much water at once. <laughs> oh, which is like... That's sad. <laughs> Essentially water poisoning. <laughs> sad, I don't want to talk about dying in the desert anymore. Alright, um, Kivan, <laughs> what, what would you... Given the opportunity, would you live forever? Uh... I think I already know your answer. Immortality or live forever? What, what the mean? fuck did I trip on? What do you mean, immortality or live forever? Like, I guess... Live forever is if you're literally living forever. Immortality is like you can't die, but like... Or more like you can't like die, but like fucking like someone shoots you, but you'd be able to choose when you die. Isn't... Like, you have a way out. Okay, so you're... Live oh, forever oh, asking, you mean do you have a way out? Immortal or invulnerable? Yeah, that's a better way of saying it. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's uh, I don't know, I don't think... Invulnerable forever. No, Given I'm... the opportunity that nothing could ever kill you, would you do it? No. I would do it if I can. No, if I can. But invulnerable means I can kill myself. No, no you can't die. You're ever. not vulnerable to anything. Also, oh, is that in, in? That's just hell. That's, oh. no, that's yeah, subjecting I yourself to hell. I like. I kind of want to see how everything goes. But then, so what? Because once you're, because once the universe ends, you'll still be alive. No, I yes. I mean. Hmm. That's the ultimate. Because if and nothing though. can kill you, and the universe is over, okay, no, you can't in, in be the killed. in the rules of this, nothing can kill you. But once everything ends, so do you. You'll be dead. Oh. You'll basically you have, your lifespan is you, the same as the universe. Universe, yeah. Okay. Oh, he's gone. Uh, even so, I like, want to. Yeah, no, I want to see how everything goes. But stupid uh, human emotion go. Oh shoot! Everything that I know is gonna be gone. I would also think everything, about like, everything would happen very, yeah. very, very quickly. I would just get paranoid about like bad stuff happening to me. Like <laughs> I'm gonna sideways spray. I put on a ton of olive oil. I hope I can slide really, really far. I would just. Get... <laughs> I would just be, like, super paranoid that, like, something bad would happen to me and I would never be able to fix it. Like, I would get, like, I would, like, fall into the ocean. Dead. <laughs> and not be able to drown. So I would just be stuck at the bottom of the ocean. 
What, you don't think you'd be strong enough to- No, if you kept walking, you'd find land. That's true. Yeah, just take a while. It would be a- Look, you would be a really bad, like, like, years. No, yeah, no, it would suck. Yeah, but I, I guess I eventually- Oh, yeah, getting stuck at, like, the bottom of a trench. Yeah. You can barely- s Oh, that sucks. I would, like, I would be afraid that I would eventually fall off a boat or something and end up in the ocean. Or Even though, like, of course uh, that wouldn't happen, but I would just be afraid of it. I mean, you, uh, I mean, you, could, you could swim. I guess- Yes. Yeah. Also true. True, but you can't swim in open water. What you, in what? the open ocean. Why? You can't swim to land. But you can swim, it's not like you're walking on the fucking bottom of the floor. Mm, no, okay, no, wait, if you're trapped in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, is there literally, because of currents, literally no way you can ever find your way to land? Is that how that works? By swimming? I yes. bet you can. Oh, then you have to walk? I mean, yeah, you'd have to sink and then walk. That would suck. Yeah, no, that would be awful. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess maybe, I, at that maybe point, I'd rather die. Maybe you would learn to accept it, though, like, you'd be like, oh, I can understand the beauty of the underwater. Yeah, but, like, see it. Yeah, because it would be so dark under the... Also, because of all the chlorine and water and salt water, you guys. Not yeah, all the chlorine. Chlorine in the open ocean. Yeah, yeah, what if I get stuck at the bottom of the pool? <laughs> get stuck at the bottom of the pool at the Y? Yeah. yeah and it's the like, lifeguard it's, won't get you out. Yeah, there. it's 95 feet deep. <laughs> yeah. I call it deep end for the reason, boys. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. You just... Uh, Put blind. the description of this video off the deep end. Am I right, fellas? Uh, Slap that uh, subscribe. Hit the hit the notification subscribe mm -hmm. bell. Like, thanks.